Hi there, I'm Brittany and this is Lauren and we're two of Festival's Registered Dietitians. Today we're coming to you with a chocolatey recipe with a surprising healthy twist. Yes, we are making dark chocolate zucchini bread today. Mm. And I especially love this recipe because during this time of year, zucchini is really prevalent and sometimes you can get a little bit too much. Right. Um, but the great thing is that you can really use it in a lot of different recipes by just shredding it. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I love zucchini on the grill and just sauteing it in a pan, but it's also really great to shred up and kind of sneak into some recipes. Exactly. Like, you know, spaghetti, um, you can even put it in meatloaf, tacos, really anything. Yes. Zucchini works really well in when it's shredded up, but we're also going to put it in this actually sweet recipe too today, like you Ooh, said. Ooh, yes. So we're going to start off, um, get rolling right away. We're going to add in some melted butter. Okay. And that is just unsalted butter, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. And then we're replacing actually half the amount of butter in this recipe with canola oil. Okay. And that adds some of those heart healthy fats that we look for. Yes. You got it. And then we got some sugar. Obviously to sweeten it up sweeten a little bit. <laughs> yep. So I can get this one little chunk off here. So we're just going to cream this up. There we go. Just till it's nice and smooth. Alright, that's pretty good. Okay, and then next we are got to throw in some eggs and then we'll we'll beat it up again a little bit. Okay. Nice and mixed now. Yep. Perfect. All right, so we're done with our our beater now. Okay. So then we're gonna get to the chocolatey part. Excellent, my favorite part. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna put in some dark chocolate cocoa powder, and this is actually Hershey's special dark cocoa powder. Um, it's made with 100% cocoa, and it gets a really great Nouvelle score because it's full of antioxidants. So yes, it's definitely one of my favorite products. Right oh, out there. me too, and it just gives great flavor. So I put in just a little bit of um, vanilla. This is just a little bit, bit of ba baking powder. Okay, salt, nice. So we're gonna mix all this up here, and then it's starting to look a little bit like brownie batter. Oh my gosh, yes, <laughs> you can just smell it too. And then next we're going to be putting in our zucchini, our fun ingredient for the day. Awesome. So we grated this zucchini. Yes. And to grate it, we just chopped off the ends and then just used a regular cheese grater, um, the side with the larger holes, and we were just able to grate it up. You could also use a food processor if you have a grating attachment, um, but we just decided to do it the old fashioned way with a cheese grater. And, oops. As you can see, it worked perfectly <laughs> fine. Yeah. So I'm going to throw that in here. What's so great is that we're putting it in now, and obviously it's very green and you can see it, mm -hmm. but we're not going to be able to see it in our recipe at all. Right. And this is a great way to, um, if you have kids with a sweet tooth, um, just a way to make you know, their favorite desserts a little bit healthier. Oh, definitely. So that looks pretty good, and actually it moistens up a lot more once you get that zucchini in there because mm -hmm. there's a lot of water in zucchini. Oh, and yeah. And with the zucchini also, it's great because you can actually um, freeze it as well. So right. if you have extra shredded, you can put it in, you know, one cup um, plastic baggies. Um, mm -hmm. So you have it, you know, all measured out, or you can just put in a big one, just date it, and it's good to go. That'd be nice. I love zucchini bread any time of the year. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just threw in um, some whole wheat pastry flour, which is actually this brand over here. Yes, Bob's Red Mill. So it's made with, um, it's a little bit lighter because it's pastry flour, so it's not like using all-purpose flour, but it's made with 100% whole grain. So again, a better for you option. Yes. And then we're going to get in the um, chocolate chips chocolate if you want to toss those in, Brittany. Yeah, absolutely. Stir in here. And these are dark chocolate chips, so we're, this, we're keeping with the theme. Yes, it's going to be very rich. I'm excited. Me too. <laughs> it already smells nice and chocolatey. Yes, it does. And because we're using whole wheat flour, it is a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. um, so it does take a little bit more, you know, stirring, but there's so many health benefits of whole wheat flour. Right, right. All right, so it looks like we're getting it all nice and mixed up. Yeah. So if you want to spray that pan then with just yes. a little bit of nonstick spray. Absolutely. 
I think I can handle this part. <laughs> Let you do the dirty work. Nice having a little help. <laughs> so we're just going to put this all in here. Okay. And this is the part where, if you're making this with your kids, they get to lick the spoon. Oh, my favorite <laughs> when I was younger, for sure. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. That is so ooey gooey. Out. And then we're actually going to put even more chocolate chips on top. Of which course. Is excellent. Decadence is the name of the game with this <laughs> recipe. You bet. So we're just going to kind of spread this around here. Okay. It's all evenly coated. And then, do I get to play with the chocolate chips You get chips to play again? with the chocolate chips, you bet. <laughs> All right, let's just sprinkle Perfect. those on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the oven. Um, and the temperature is 350, correct? Yep, so 350. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour, just depending on, you know, how moist you want it or if you want it a little bit more done. And then here we have the finished product. It should come out looking beautiful like that. And what's so great is that you can't see that zucchini at all. Now we can kind of see in the batter, but once it's all baked off, you can't see it at all. So your kids will definitely not know. Exactly. Or your, the picky eaters in your family. So I'm ready to take a oh, bite. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Mm. Can't that, tell our zucchini at all. No, and those chocolate chips have melted. <laughs> it's super moist. Wonderful. Well, if you'd like this recipe, just visit our blog at blog.festfoods.com. See you next time.